Today I want to show you this 3D printer. It's the longer LK5 Pro. This printer has a color touch display and simple user interface. Printer comes to you 90% assembled. So if your build goes well, you will be printing in a few minutes. This printer has a huge print area. It's 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. The printer stability is ensured by the triangular construction. Other advantages include blowing nozzles from both sides. The previous model had a fan only on the right side. The printer's motherboard is equipped with quiet drivers, so most of the time you will only hear the fans blowing. Now let's look inside the box. Ok, here we have a piece of filament, simple assembly instructions, a scraper to remove the prints, silica gel, a couple of branches, some blanks, an assembly portal frame, bars to support the frame and trader rod to lift the Z-axis. We also have a motor for lifting Z-axis, screws and micro switch, trader rod attachment, power cable, X-axis frame, hot end and extruder, hmm, some screw, control panel and filament holder. <laughs> ok, that's it. Let's build it. First, we put the x-axis arm on the portal frame. Then we screw the x-axis motor to the frame. Yep, now we unpack the threaded rod and... One hour later. Here yes! You screw the threaded rod through the brass holder and insert the Z-axis motor. Now we can screw the portal frame to the printer base. We tighten the screws just right. Wow, that's high! Now we screw the threaded rods, if you have a right angle gauge, it's a good idea to check that the portal is at the right angle to the base. If it is not, you can adjust it with these rods. Before connecting the printer to voltage, check the voltage of the power supply. Now we screw the threaded rod holder and the filament holder. Next we have X-axis end sensor and control panel. Now we need to connect some connectors. Now it's time to tighten the bed. It should not knock and at the same time it should move easily. You will use eccentric screws for this. Now we set the correct distance between the bed and the nozzle. It's a good idea to start by lowering the bed as low as possible so that the nozzle doesn't hit the bed when setting the home position. Not all printer manufacturers without automatic bed calibration have this feature. Often you have to drive between corners by manually adjusting each axis via the printer menu. This is simple and cool. I set the distance to the thickness of the paper.
is the Calicat. For me the result is very nice, only small vibrations are visible. The cooling of the hot end works great and the filling is also good. The spider print is very nice. I made a mistake in the slicer and so a full fill was printed in one place where there is a different tension of the material. Here it can be seen on time lapse. The octopus is beautiful. I have nothing to complain about. The errors on the rocket are caused by the fact that I had the eccentric screws on the Z-axis too tight at the beginning and the arm on the right side was getting stuck when lifting. So what do you think about this printer? Write me down in the comments. If you decide to buy this printer, you can find a discount code in the description of the video. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.